Hello fellow floss tubers. It's Patty here with episode 152. Today is May the 10th, 2021. On today's show, I have one whip, I have haul, and I have knitting. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, water for me, your craft of choice, and let's chat. So how has everybody's week been? Mine was really good on uh, Wednesday. I went to knit night. There was three of us in the group. There wasn't a whole bunch of people in the coffee shop, so that was nice. Um, we stayed maybe an hour and a half, uh, which is plenty of time right now, because we'll probably stay later when we're outside. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We usually do. In the summertime, we usually stay together longer because it's bright out. <laughs> so, you know, we stay out longer. Um, let's see, Thursday, I went and saw my mom. She had her first doctor appointment with her new doctor. Our doctor retired this last December. Yeah, he, he retired in December, so we both need to get new doctors. And I, I don't need mine yet, but my mom wanted to go ahead and see hers. She also had a nurse come out to see her on Saturday, so I was out there Saturday as well. And the nurse said that she doesn't need home nursing just yet, which is good. Um, anything else? Yeah. Sunday. I uh, had the littles here and the little man was so excited because the big camper is back in the yard. So he and Grandpa spent quite a bit of time either inside the big camper or out back since the snow had melted. <laughs> the snow was all gone from the backyard, so they were playing out back. He even talked Grandpa into grilling because our neighbor was grilling and we had to grill too. So Grandpa grilled. We had a really good time. The littlest man went outside and played for a little bit, and then he came in and took a nap. <laughs> so we wore him out a little bit for being outside. But yeah, it was a really nice, relaxing Mother's Day. I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. And if you don't celebrate Mother's Day, I hope you had a great Sunday. Um, yeah, so shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. My first comment, though, is Linda, thank you so much for all of your comments. I really do appreciate them, and I do read every single one. I am just really bad about commenting back, and I do apologize about that. Yeah, I do. I'm really sorry. So if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming in and checking me out. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back week after week. I really do appreciate it. So now that I've blathered enough, let me pick up my project. My one and only project is a Fright Night, charted by Gecko Rouge. And the artwork is done by Louis T. Johnson. I am stitching this on 25 Count Easy Guide by, I think this is by Zweigart, if I'm not mistaken. So let me remove the clamps here. I did finish, I got a page finish on Thursday, so that's exciting. And here I am right now. So the page I finished was this page here. And I started working on another page. So here is where I'm at right now. I am so happy with how much I am getting accomplished on this project. I am just flying through this project, which is great. And I lost my clamps. Oops, I'll have to find them later. So this is so much fun. Pattern Keeper does make this so much easier. I just cannot believe how much easier Pattern Keeper makes this project. I did... Uh, Put some more on my pattern keeper like I told you last time I believe I purchased the copy of B so that's really nice to have B on there and I think I put my blue dragon on there which is a UFO from a long time ago so I might go ahead and do that you can scan a pattern in there so I might be scanning up on a rooftop but it all depends on you can only do so many pages on a scanned project, so I'll have to look into that. But, yeah, that's my stitching for the week. 
you know, for my haul. I did receive my Grime Guard of the Month from Garon Stitchery. So that's really a pretty pattern, I thought. The bags are really beautiful. I really kind of wish I was in the Bag of the Month Club. Maybe after I get done with the Grime Guard, I might do that, but I'm not sure. Then I have been holding on my wish list at 123 Stitch for the Waxing Moon Designs monthly trios. And all four of them were there, so I jumped on it. So this is January, February, March. April, May, June. July, August, September. Look at August. <laughs> He's such a cute crab. And then October, November, December. So these are so cool. I'm so happy to have gotten those. I've been waiting and waiting. They keep going in and out. So when I saw all four of them were there, I went, yes, now it's time. So I picked up those. And I'm going to be doing those next year. And hopefully I can get one a month done. There are 58 by 78. So I think that's small enough to where I can get a full one done every month. So that's my goal for those. That was all of my haul knitting. I did work on the hat a little bit this last week. I only did maybe 10 rows, so there's not a huge amount of progress, but it's getting there. It is getting there. So I'm going to make a orange rim with a red top. And then the second one, I'm going to make a Jane hat from Firefly, except I won't have the white. I'll just have the red and the orange. Hopefully I'll have enough orange left to do some striping to make kind of a pseudo Jane hat, but we'll see. And you see, this is Cascades Yarns Pacific. And I'm making kids hats, so that's fun. And then I started a sock pattern, and this is another online super sock. And this seems to be a thicker sock yarn. Oops, upside down. There we go. So it's a striping, and it, it does seem thicker. So I really like the colors. And so far, this is how it's knitting up. I've only got the toe done. Because when we go to uh, the coffee shop, they have pre-made salads. So I usually have dinner there. So a salad and water while everybody, you know, we all eat a little bit of dinner and then we knit. So that's always fun. I did want to show you this pattern I found on Ravelry. And it's a free pattern. Oh, come on. It's a free pattern by um, Biscotti Yarns, Biscotti Yarns, and it is called Socks by the Heel, and it's a really interesting sock. So you cast on, like you're doing a toe-up sock, so you cast on the heel, and you increase and increase, and then once you get the increases to where you're supposed to, one half of the sock is the leg and the other half of the sock is the toe. So I'm debating whether I'm going to put these socks on hold and start the Biscotti yarn. They have their own yarn, but I don't have that. This Biscotti sock. I think this is Neapolitan, but I'm not sure. But this is Hazel Knits Artisan Sock. And I've had it balled up for a while, but I think... That would make a really cool toe sock by the heel. So I might, you might see these next week. I might start these and put these, as this one aside for a while. I wish I had found, I looked at them last night and I went, oh, I should do that one. So I might just do that. I might just start that sock on Wednesday. What do you think? Should I? Let me know. It's not like this is any 
really far. <laughs> but I would have to take these needles because this is the the needle size it calls for. So I don't know. And I'm usually pretty close to gauge most of the time. So looking around here, I really don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. I will continue working on Fright Night for another week. I will also be doing it on the 16th since that is Sunday. I don't get a lot of stitching time on Sunday because of the littles, but I do get some in. We may be going camping this weekend, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of stitching time this weekend. So there might not be a lot of stitching this weekend at all. But we'll see. It depends on what the weekend looks like, if we go or not. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun the second trip on the motorhome. It'll be a lot. So I hope that you are all safe and healthy, and I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.